Thanks for checking out this unboxing episode, and this one is for the IT expansion from uh, BAMBOX. Uh, if people don't know the BAMBOX, uh, they do these expansion packs every now and then. For a while it was like every single month they would do at least one, but then they missed some months. So it's kind of more sporadic now, which is fine. Uh, and these are just kind of like additional packs that they'll have available for purchase that go past your normal subscription box. So like this one was, I think like $70. Um, and this was for obviously the remake of the movie It, um, which was wildly successful. So they had said that they were able to get an autograph from one of the kids from It. I'm not expecting one of the really big ones like Finn Wolfhard, who's the kid who played Richie, who's also in Stranger Things. I would not assume it would be him because he's, pr he's probably worth like a decent amount. And I don't think, I think he's enough in demand that he would not be doing signings like this. Uh, but who knows, maybe it is. Uh, I just hope it's one of the kids who did a really good job. Um, overall, I think the kids in the movie did a decent job. Might as well work on the, getting the tape off this while I talk. Um, overall, I think the kids did a uh, decent to really good job. There were a few of the actors. The kid who played Mike, I didn't think did the best job. And then a kid who, who played the one who was afraid of uh, the lady with the flute. Um, I don't think he did a very good job either. So... I'm hoping it's not either of those two because they're the ones that I, I don't really think they did a very good job with their acting. But everyone else, I think, did a phenomenal job as far as the kids go. Um, all right, got the end off here. Uh, I may have overlooked it. Maybe they said when I was ordering this and I just didn't read it what the size was going to end up being. But I don't think they said anything about the size, in which case uh, it may have deterred me a little bit. I don't like the larger size ones because they come like this which means they're rolled up, which means it's going to be a pain in the ass to get it unrolled. So a little unhappy about that at the moment. But if the signature's really good, then, you know, I'll spend the time getting into it. But also do want to say that I saw the It remake twice in the theater. Um, well, once in an actual theater and once uh, at the drive-in because we have a drive-in not far from us. And drive-ins are amazing, and It at the drive-in was really cool. So, I'm a fan. I like the movie. Ready for the second one. Ready for it to be out on Blu-ray. All right, so let's undo this. I know, I think it's coming with uh, also an art print and a pen, not just the autograph. Ugh, so let's see if I can do this in a way that I'm not going to have anything spoiled. The autograph might come out first, honestly. I don't know. Let's see if I can get the pen. Is there a pen? No, there's the thing of authenticity. And there's... Probably another one for the art print pin. All right, the pin's in here. Let me do the pin first. Love their pins, as people know if you've watched these videos before. That is a good pin. As per usual, they did a great job on these on this pin, man. This pin is awesome. Let me. Uh, I think they only did 350 of these, which is what I had heard. So this will be. One of the ones out of 350. I'm sorry. It'll hold it more still. That looks really good. If people saw the movie, that's the part where he's kind of like in a field and one of the kids sees him and he's like got this chewed off, like this severed arm and he's like waving it. That's a good one to do. It says only 350 made. Let me see if I can. Kind of curious about which number it is. So I'm going to take the backings off of this just to. Designed by Phil Guy. He did a good job. Oh my god. I got number one out of 350. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This is not a lie. Number one out of 350 of these pins. I. That's awesome. I'm very excited about that. I've never gotten one that low. I think one time I got in single digits with something. Uh, one of the pins, but I think it was like number eight or six or something like that. But number one pin, that's that's really cool. Exciting. I hope the next thing I pull out is the art print, but it's going to be hard to tell. Okay. All right. I did get the art print. Okay, so here we go. This is by Brett Weldell, or Weldelay. I don't know how you want to say it. Actually, I'm going to put this on the ground at the moment. 
going to be a little bit easier for what you can see. So he actually did the art prints for the November Bam boxes, horror and the original. So this is pretty cool. I got number 154 out of 350. And as you can see, let me get some, get, got the glare out of there. As you can see, it's Pennywise the Clown opening his mouth and all these kids' arms coming out. The iconic red balloon. That's really cool. That's good. So of the pieces that this guy, Brett Weldelay, did, this is definitely my favorite that I've seen of his. That's really good. He brought his A-game on that. That's really nice. He, wait, hold on. He even has, like, the little detail of how the one eye is, like, kind of off. If people didn't notice in the movie, I mean, you have to because they focus on the, on the eye. You'll notice the eye over here is, like, off-centered. And that's true to the movie. Like, that's how it was in the movie. So that little detail, that's an awesome detail. I, if I was doing that, I probably wouldn't have even thought to do it. So, All right, now let's find out the autograph. Oh, which actually, this isn't going to be too bad. Because this isn't, like, crazy, this isn't crazy, like, thick. So it'll actually get flattened out pretty easily. So this is also number 154 out of 350. And... It looks like it's the kid who played Bill. Bill was the kid who was stuttering. Let me get his real name off here. Jaden Lieberer. Yeah, who played Bill Denbro. Mm -hmm. He did a good job. He actually did a really good job. I'm excited. That's awesome. I'm very glad that that's what the signature was. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to, well, I mean, you can kind of see it from here. You can see that there's all the kids. So you can see all the kids kind of in the, in the fog. There's Pennywise with the red balloon, and there's the rest of the kids. Obviously, he's signed right here where he is. And then it says, oh, how will you be able to see it? We all float down here, down here in the water. And this is super cool because this means that if you meet the other ones, you can get their signatures on this as well. So, you know, I know I said I wasn't going to be a big fan of it being larger like this, but I'm actually okay with that because, like I said, like it's not super heavy material that it's on, so it'll be actually pretty easy to flatten out. And the fact that there's plenty of room to get the other signatures, which would be so cool because I know in March, I believe in March, at Monster Mania Con in, I think, Philadelphia, which is not a far drive for me, uh, at least two or three of the kids, I think three of the kids from uh, the movie are going to be there doing signings, and neither of them were, are Bill, so or the kid who played Bill. So that's nice. That's I'm happy. I was just thinking, as long as it wasn't one of those two kids who I thought did a, did a not very good job in the film, I was going to be happy. Definitely happy. Um, Jaden Lieberer. He did a really good job. He really did. And um, I'm, I'm excited about this. Do I think that this was worth 70? Mm, I mean, I don't know about totally 70, but I do have to think about the fact that, you know, Bambox has to make a little bit of money on it. If you would get a signature, honestly, it might be close to 70. If you would get a signature on something like this at a convention, a lot of, uh, a lot of people charge $30. Some of them 40, some of them even higher. Like I was at a, a convention kind of recently and it was a horror convention, but for some reason Dean Kane was there. I heard he was charging $80 for his signature, for his autograph. And I was just like, that's crazy. And it, it was just like, you would just get not, not even like a thing this size. You would just get like a, a still from it, just like the normal, like eight by 10 or eight by 11. And yeah, like 80 bucks. I mean, but then again, I spent $70 on Rose McGowan's signature or her autograph for a still from um, Planet Terror because I love Planet Terror and I like Rose McGowan. I think she does a good job. And this, this it, that happened like right before everything broke with um, all the sexual harassment scandals and her being like one of the most outspoken people about it. So I kind of wish that I would have known about that ahead of time so I could have said, you know, like good job and, you know, pointing this type of garbage out and you're doing good work important work but you know made me feel even less bad about giving her 70 bucks for her autograph after that i was like well you know she's a good person 
So, um, yeah, so this would <laughs> at least $30 for the autograph. I would think this would probably be closer to $40 just because of the fact that it's relatively large. Um, an art print, and then I could put like 10 bucks on an art print or something, so like 50 bucks. So, and then the pin, the pin's probably got to be at least, you know, eight bucks or something. So, you know, like 58 bucks or something, and then the band box has to get a little bit, and I'm probably underestimating this stuff anyway. But that's not what's important. What's important is do I like it? The pin is really, really cool, uh, and I got number one out of 350, which is crazy. Um, the autograph is really cool, and the picture that they have it on is really cool and the art print is super cool so i'm happy with it i'm happy with it this is only the second uh expansion that i've done a lot of them haven't really you know piqued my interest or piqued my interest but for the price i was like man eh, never mind so when this was 70 i was just like it's a really good movie and i'm interested so it was worth it for me and actually now it's good that i have this tube because if I do want to go get the or the autographs from the, why do I keep calling them signatures? If I do want to go get the autographs from the other kids at that convention, just pop it in here. It'll be well protected for the travel. Easy way to, to take it with you. So um, good job, Bandbox. Good, good, good job. I'm happy with this. Super happy with this. Um, everyone, thank you for checking this out. Hopefully you enjoyed the unboxing of this. I know I did. Uh, but until next time, thank you so much and keep it brutal.